Hi Aries, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. The first card that we have out is Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, very beautiful energy, Aries. So we have Seven of Pentacles and we have the card Sacred Feminine. This is connected with the Empress, but in this deck it's called the Sacred Feminine. I feel like you're really investing in yourself right now and the things that feel important to you. There can be like art that you're investing in. I think of art when I think of the Empress. It's sort of like, it doesn't need to be physical art. It can be the way that you're living your life, the way that you're speaking to other people, the way that you're nurturing yourself. It's just like moving through your life in that way. Like life being your canvas. So I feel like right now what you're investing in is you and things that feel empowering to you and things that you feel just fit what you're meant to be doing. I feel too like you're really honoring yourself here. Really, really investing in your feminine energy, which is like your creativity, the love that you have to give and to share and to receive can be something that you're doing that's also impacting others as well. This card feels very, very wise to me. And so maybe you're doing something where even though what you're doing, you're investing in yourself, you may simultaneously be like investing in others or helping others in some way. But it's by like you honoring you. Very, very beautiful. Like, I feel like this is really important for your relationship with yourself and it's energetically going to have like a ripple effect. And so this is really positively impacting the people that are around you too, but it's just starting with you and yourself. Like it starts at home with you. These are some really strong vibes. So what's the issue? I'm seeing Seven of Swords pop up here. Okay, you investing in yourself can also be investing in your creativity, can also be investing in like projects that you're doing. Because the Empress is connected with fertility, it can be like really anything that you're giving your energy to and like things are happening because of that or becoming because of that. Now I'm seeing Seven of Swords and I'm seeing Six of Pentacles, which feels like maybe you are in some type of situation that you don't feel like aligns with your values, but Seven of Swords can mean that maybe you're continuing to stay or exchange within that. It can also be like not being honest with yourself about that too. Like something may not be working for you or it may not be aligned for you, but you may not want to accept that. You may not want to acknowledge that. So it can be like, I'm giving my energy to this thing or this person and I feel like my, my values are not respected or that's not reflected back to me. It's like how I want to be treated or how I want to be interacted with or what I feel like my worth is or how much I should be being paid for this. Like those types of things. But what this is also looking like too, because now over here I'm seeing the chariot, maybe that was something that you were going through before when, where you were maybe around people. Well, it doesn't have to be people. You were just exchanging energy, whether in any type of relationship which like us with our job can be a relationship too. It's like any type of relationship that you were involved in before that maybe was not actually aligned with your values. But now that you're investing in yourself in this way, it may actually be helping this. Like it's helping you work through these things. Now that you're nurturing yourself in this way. Because this is ultimately you investing in yourself. 
it's like honoring like devotion but for you okay so it, it does seem like there's something actively that you've been involved in or with that you don't feel like is aligned. And this can be like you're interacting with someone who reoccurring, reoccurring repetitively, maybe like doesn't show up for you or it's like you keep you keep making art for somebody and they keep like not paying you for it or something when you guys discuss that they were going to pay you for it. it's something like that where you're putting in energy but there's an issue within the exchange and it's like not breaking even not that that's also like the point of things because we're not only talking like financially based up we're talking about energetics so having Having six of coins be over here, this is about us honoring our values because when we're honoring our values, it allows us to feel valued. And when we're not honoring our values, when we are subtracting from them or when we're sabotaging them, then we walk around feeling like we're not appreciated because we're not enforcing our standards and our values. So I, it seems like you've been dealing with a situation like that and I'm seeing Chariot and I'm seeing Ten of Swords. So this can mean putting an end to this. So this does not continue happening. And it can also mean too like doing things that you're not okay with and like hoping that the other person shows up and then they keep not showing up. But you keep exerting that energy anyway. This can be a tricky one though, because from what I'm seeing, this may have been something that you were doing or keeping around out of a feeling of obligation or duty because I'm seeing the chariot here and this is cancer. So it can be like, I feel like I'm meant to participate in this or take care of this or show up for this, but it's actually like you not showing up for yourself by doing this. But with the cancer energy, archetypally speaking, it can be like, I feel like I have to take care of this or protect this or nurture this, even though the situation may be telling you that this is out of alignment. Or like what's happening within the situation. This is a social thing. Yeah, I, I feel like you're heartbroken over this situation, but you feel like if you don't sort of stand up for yourself that you're going to be taken advantage of is what I'm seeing here. Like this person that's on sort of the other end of the line with you. It's just about you prioritizing your values and asserting your standards, but it can feel Six of Pentacles and Three of Swords is like, I wish that it was reciprocal, but it's not. And I feel heartbroken about that. I feel sad. I feel hurt. Like, and you know, then you can have all of those thoughts. Like, maybe if I were better, maybe if I showed up like this, they would show up like that with me. Is it something that I'm doing when really it's just whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they're just like not in a space where they're capable of showing up with you and it's just not compatible and that's not a reflection of you, it's a reflection of where that person is with themselves. And as much as that can be hard for us to admit to, it's important 
so we don't continue sabotaging our value because when we do that, we start feeling like our self-esteem is affected then by that. Our self-value is affected by that. Because we start even feeling like maybe I deserve that, you know, but you don't. It's just not aligned. doing the responsible thing it seems I feel like you sort of have to like lay down the law here and just do what needs to be done take action because you already know what your intuition is telling you you just need to sort of do it because I see from what I'm looking at I feel like you've you've thought about this like you've really considered this and it seems like it's just time now to actually do what needs to be done here. I do feel as well like this is sort of forging you, like this situation to allow you to show up for yourself maybe in a way that you hadn't been and sort of take it upon yourself to be responsible in this way, in a social way, which can be hard too, because it's like, just with the energy of Aries, it's like when you love, you love so hard, and there's so much like loyalty and devotion. So it can be a tricky thing to, to do, to sort of like draw that line, but I'm seeing it really be necessary at this point. Because you could even feel like now this is impacting your life in a way that you don't want to be affected. And that's why needing to sort of put your foot down here is really important. And it seems like it's going to free you up to move forward as well then. So yeah, this is just about you taking action now. I'm seeing Cancer, I'm seeing Aries, and I'm seeing Venus here. Venus has to do with our interpersonal relationships. And this does look like definitely somebody that you connect with at minimum socially. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.